Hi everyone, welcome in. I'm Maggie of maggiesbliss.com and I'm here for our Oracle, collective Oracle energy reading today. Uh, usually I do it on Tuesdays, but yesterday was the winter solstice, so we had to do something a little different yesterday. Um, so again, welcome. And before I begin, I just wanna remind everyone that my Mystic Soul course has launched yesterday for registration. We begin in January, Mystic Soul Priestessing, that is, right? So it's all about, you're gonna receive all nine Monarchy rites. You're gonna have 13 spheres of Priestessing in your second class, right? So the first one is the Womb Rite in January, all nine Monarchy rites. Happy Yule, Shannon! And then your second class is the 13 Spheres of Priestessing, which you will be receiving your own unique Oracle card uh, poll of the a class of that month, um, right? So this is gonna happen every month. You're gonna get a reading from me, a channeled reading with your card poll, and then everyone who comes live will get it, and everyone who puts their name in, if they can attend live, you'll get one as well, so that you can watch the recording later. So anyone who joins in. So we're, all, we're gonna meet on Zoom. So the 13 spheres of priestessing, our second class will always be on the 13th of the month, Goddess Day, and then our final class is Sacred Priestessing Tools and Q&A, and we'll go into all that. Go to maggiesbliss.com slash priestessing and you'll see all of the fun descriptions, the video I, I shot yesterday to share with you guys everything. Um, so you'll be able to just really dive in and see if your heart sings when um, you think of joining that and diving deeper into self and into Gaia and into the magic and the mystery of the universe, right? Okay. Oracle card reading. Ready? So I have two decks. I have Wisdom of the Hidden Realms, Colette Baron Reed's Oracle deck. Awesome. And and uh, no, I will often channel what's coming in for each card, so it may or may not be exactly what each card, right? Tarot cards, I will still even channel different things that come in for that. And the other, the final deck, so two decks, right? So we have the Isis Oracle deck. It's Alana Fairchild's Isis Oracle deck one of my favorites. So the first card that comes up is so appropriate, the Dream Walker. And I think it, we're all flipped because it's Facebook, so it's, it's not showing you um, the words properly. Dreams, the collective good and illusions. That's what this is. So she is playing music by the ocean and there's this beautiful dreamy not maybe of this realm animal, some sort of like mini dragon or can't really, can't really tell. It's not a dragon. Looks like a seal, but not like a seal dragon. <laughs> anyway, um, it's a beautiful card. And this one, it's definitely about the infinity, the connection to all, the as above, so below, as within, so without, and that the messages are coming to you in your dreams always. And if you are one of those people who aren't dreaming, take a moment to intend before you go to sleep to uh, remember your dreams, have a journal and a pen or pencil next to you or your phone if you're going to text it to yourself so that you can immediately before getting out of bed write anything you remember. Like that's your first question. What is my dream? Because we are dreaming all the time and our dreams are also reflective of what we're doing when we're asleep which could be astral travel for many. Astral travel work, uh, doing soul work while you're asleep. A lot of the um, high, higher vibrational beings will be doing that kind of work. I remember having a dream going somewhere years ago in the desert and just healing someone who had gotten hurt in some kind of like, it felt like it was like more like energy. So that was interesting to me. So this is saying, pay attention to your dreams. You're getting messages, especially if you're, you're not one to meditate, your dreams will be infused with more symbol, symbolic messages for you and anything. So these dreams that come to you are dreams for you and also dreams for the collective. So it's for your mini me as well as for the many. Uh, so you will get those layering effects, dual messages from your dreams. So this is, of course, divinely timed. You can't make this shit up. Um, the dream that I was wanted to share with you guys is a message for many of us right now. And this dream was, I was um, by like a river or body of water and they were letting piranha into the water. Um, and... <laughs> 
a lot of them, like a school of Purana. So the symbolic messages from Purana, right? Because animals bring us messages, whether they're our totem animal guide or one who's going in and out of our lives, depending on what we need, just like our spirit guides and angels. So the Purana bring messages of be unapolog unapologetically you. Stop pretending, don't put that mask on anymore. It's time to be you fully because only then will you be around authentic people who are within your energetic realm and only then will you have those even more deeply profound energetic experiences and transcend to the next level in your personal process and evolution. Um, so please be unapolog unapologetically you and um, when you see a school of prana, it is said to mean that there is also that extra support. And there is, there is that extra support for you guys out there by being unapologetically you. Uh, release the fear as much as you can because if not now, then when? We're here to be who we were made to be. And we are a part of the collective. We are one. We need uh, to have every other person be as authentically them as they can be and to truly um, be that drop in the ocean that they're meant to be as well as you need to be who you are to be that unique drop in the ocean because we're all a part of that collective and you're important and you need to share who you are. Uh, it is felt. It is felt energetically in the collective as well as to those around you whether you know it or not and it's powerful. So step into that be you. Um, Ice Queen is our next card from Colette Baron Reed's uh, deck. Here's the back, by the way, gateway energy there. Ice Queen, number 28 card, which is reduces to 10 in numerology. So one in 10, it's the beginning and the endings all in one. And this is right, very divinely timed. Let me read the small words for you. Ideas preserved, non-action and entitlement. So depending on how this card is laid, so how this particular deck that Colette Baron Reed set up is, if it's right set up, it's your ally. If it's upside down, it's your challenge. I don't read these cards in that way. They come out how they come out and I don't always remember, but I read them in what message comes through for me from what, what I'm seeing and feeling and experiencing. So that, that channeled message that comes through, this is saying exactly what we're doing in the Northern Hemisphere right now, which is go inward, go inward and rest. Now is not the time to act. Now is the time to be, rejuvenate, and allow your energy to be all filled up. And then come spring, you'll be able to blossom and really get out there with your full energy. But this is confirmation for people who are still like, I must go, do, 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 I have to take action, I gotta do this thing, I gotta create that thing. And I'm not doing anything, so I really should be doing that. And we get in such a habit of the go, 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 and the do, 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 and the action that we uh, need to purposely say, no, no, now's rest. Now's rest. There isn't anything else to do. Don't search for something else to do when there's nothing to do. Instead, say, I can breathe. Take a moment. Rest. Read your favorite book. Go out in nature. Get barefoot when you can because connecting barefoot will help you. Even if it's cold, I do. We do it real fast. But like this is when I was just telling my sister. But if you can't do barefoot, place your hands on the earth so that you can connect to that energy. And do it when the sun's out so you have the light codes, frequencies, and vibrations from Gaia and from the sun. And you bring that in and you can be that pillar of light for the energy to flow through. But really, take a moment to relax, right? Take several weeks, like two weeks. Allow these, these two weeks to just be. And there will be a little hustle and bustle for the holidays, I'm sure. Our final card, which I intended to be the activator card, came is, is from our Isis deck. Um, oh, a part of the uh, previous card, right? And this is what came through before I even pulled any cards, is to find simplicity to clear off your nightstand, clear off um, a purse, a car, like a small corner in your house. To clutter clear is alchemy for the soul. But find simplicity here. This is saying to us that non-attachment as well. Don't attach to things anymore. It's our lesson to say, you know what? Life is impermanent. Even your permanent 
home, your permanent ideas that you've created and cultivated out there have all been done and experienced before and will be experienced by others. Your ideas have been cultivated and brought through energetically to you and to many. So there is meant to be shared all around, right? It's an energy stream that you align with. Uh, but even that is, it's a temporary thing that we're here, here on this planet and we become our forever selves when we transcend this life. But we're here to learn the lessons and have joy, right? Be in joy and love and <laughs> learn those lessons. But this is, you know, telling us, find simplicity. If that's just, okay, I'm going to get rid of clothes I know I no longer wear anymore. I'm going to get rid of that, like, statue that I'm no longer attracted to. I'm going to give it to someone. I'm going to put it on my to-be-sold cabinet or whatever, right? But you clear it out, and it truly, it's powerful what will come in energetically for you as you do that. Our energy is attached to everything that we own. So if you're holding on to stuff that you haven't seen in a year, two years, ten years, get rid of it. Give it away or trash it, depending on the quality of what you're getting rid of, right? So it's it's not needed. Something else is waiting to come in. It just needs you to release that, and then you'll create a vacuum, vacuum of energy to come in for you. The universe can rush in with the newness that's meant to come your way. So find the simplicity in rest, relaxation, and being right now. Uh, so Pyramid of Light is our Isis card. Isn't that just freaking awesome? And under, and under, um, being authentically me. <laughs> um, step your vibration deeper into love. Pyramid of light, right? This is sun. This is get out into the sun. Get out into nature. Feel Gaia. Feel the sun. Allow the energy of from the air and the water and the earth and the fire, the sun, to come to you, the light to be infused within you. And feel love, love for all things. All life is sacred. All beings, all sentient beings are sacred. So find that appreciation and gratitude for things. Step deeper into love, right? Drop into your heart center. That must be why I was wearing this today for you guys. It's a beautifully activated uh, heart um, stone from Shekinah, who activates it with her light codes in the vortexes of Sedona. So step into love, be vibrationally in that love. So if you're like, I don't know how, I haven't experienced that in a while. Think of the things you love, the children you love, the sisters, the family, the boyfriend, the girlfriend, the friends, the, uh, the I, my pets, the dogs, the kitties, like what brings love and simplicity into your heart and do that, right? So for me, the minute I see a cat, it's just like, my heart's open. <laughs> but like, what is it for you? It's many things, right? It could just be in appreciation, gratitude for shelter over your head and gentle simplicity, food in your mouth, and you're like, I am grateful. I am living this life. The energy and vibrancy of life is all around me. I want to tune into that. I intend to tune into that. And I activate love in my heart now. I am love. I am stardust. I am made of stardust. Stardust is love dust. So just tune into that frequency and vibration that you are and you're connected to all things, all life. So have a happy uh, happy Yule in the winter solstice was yesterday. We are now appreciating the cultivation of light in the Northern Hemisphere. It is coming. So have an amazing Christmas, Hanukkah, whatever you're celebrating. Happy New Year if I don't see you. Um, but I hope to see you for one of my classes or my sessions. I do remote sessions, remote classes, Zoom, phone, email, whatever you like. Um, and I'm available to support you now and always for however long I can and I'm called to do so. So have many blessings to you too, Shannon. Have amazing rest of your Wednesday as well. Blessed be.